Welcome to Glenda Blasts Your Ear Off, flash fiction stories written by Josh Bush and narrated by Glenda Villamar. Stay tuned after this episode to hear a trailer from Soul Twin Audio's network. Enjoy! You have 1,440 minutes in a day. Use five of those minutes and visit freerice.com to play trivia games and help end world hunger. freerice.com Episode 7 Combination Today Branch peered at the sign longingly and decided it was time to stop putting it off and just get it over with. For months, Branch had been driving by this new building and its neon flashing sign that had been calling out to her, no, singing out to her, like a choir of sirens on some treacherous open rocks with the words, Combination Today. Branch pulled the car off the road and got out. She imagined this moment a hundred times, and here she was, doing it. The side of the building had a gigantic poster of a smiling woman shaking hands with a ball of pulsating light. The light shot out different colored beams, like a psychedelic disco ball. Branch thought the woman acted as if she had just arrived onto a tropical beach after having just flown from her home in the dead of winter. Branch opened the door to combination today and stepped through. She could see a handsome man sitting in a chair at a simple table with an empty chair on the other side. He smiled at her with genuine warmth, and Branch knew she'd made the right decision. The kind man, who was wearing a bright red three-piece suit, stood up and said, Hello. Thank you for coming in today. My name is Gathering. And he walked towards her with an outstretched hand. Branch shook Gathering's hand, and she found she would have preferred a hug because that would have made what she was about to do a little bit easier. He must have sensed this, because he opened his arms and Branch fell into his embrace. And Branch cried and cried. It had been a rough two years battling the pancreatic cancer. Normally, she tried very hard not to think about it, but it all came back now. The gruesome suffering, the hope that got stomped on over and over. All of those feelings mingled with knowing that this man was going to make all of it finally go away. When she was done, Branch pulled back from gathering and said, I'm sorry. I'm a little embarrassed. Thank you for that. I'm Branch, by the way. Gathering motioned towards the chair he hadn't been sitting in and said, No reason to be embarrassed. Please, make yourself comfortable and have a seat. They both sat down. And Branch said, Will I really be given five million dollars if I do it? Yes, and you can have the money today. Branch looked away, and she quickly rehashed what she knew five million dollars could do for her family. The medical debt had nearly bankrupted them. Her husband wouldn't have to work two jobs anymore. Her twin daughters would be released from the poverty, and her dementia-plagued mother could finally get into a nursing home. And then Branch thought about what her family wouldn't have. A wife, a mother, and a daughter. But Branch knew this was going to happen regardless. It was only a matter of when. So why not put her accursed disease to some good use? Gathering said quietly, I know this is a difficult decision to make, but just know that you don't have to undergo the combination. No one is forcing you to do anything. It's up to you. I wish the best for you, no matter what decision you make. Will it hurt? Will there be any pain? Gathering shook his head and said, There'll be no pain. You'll be put under anesthesia. You'll be completely unconscious. Branch said, I see. And she remembered going under anesthesia for knee surgery. Simple enough. She could do that. Can I go through the combination today? Gathering said, Yes, whenever you would like. Branch thought about how weird all this was, that the Ilithari had ever come to Earth in the first place, that they needed human hosts to live in, and that after the combination, the human host's consciousness died to be replaced by the Ilithari's essence. Branch asked, Have the Ilithari always traded host bodies for money? Branch thought Gathering seemed like he'd rather not say. They are not proud of their past. In their past, 
the Ilithari forced hosts to be combined without the host's permission or without compensation. But what changed? They have the means to take whomever they want. Gathering shifted in his chair, pulled at his tie, and said, Guilt. The enormity of what they were doing got to them. They just couldn't go on forcing hosts to help them. You see, the Ilithari are a gentle and loving species. It pains them still what they had to resort to just to survive. Branch asked, After the combination, when I'm no more, the Ilithari will be able to remove the type 4 pancreatic cancer I have? Yes, their technology can remove any and all known human diseases. Branch knew all of this already, but she had needed to hear it in person. She stated, A shame the Ilithari won't help humans cure their diseases for free. Branch thought Gathering was sincere when he said, It is extremely unfortunate indeed. Branch said, Well, at least this situation makes it possible for me to give my family five million dollars. Gathering said, You don't have to go through the combination, and it need not be today. Branch said, I'm ready. I've been ready for a while. I want to undergo the combination today. Gathering nodded and said, As you wish. He bowed. The Ilithari wished to convey their extreme gratitude. They commend you and appreciate your sacrifice. And I appreciate the five million dollars. Gathering told her, I'll go get the paperwork for you to sign, and then we can start the combination whenever you're ready. The end. Thank you for listening to today's episode. We look forward to bringing you the next episode in Glenda Blasts Your Ear Off on some treacherous, 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 treacherous. Soul Twin Audios presents a very special recreation. I guess this is one holiday we won't forget. Well, that's that. Uh, Mind if I turn on some lights? No, not yet. It's time you pulled yourself together, isn't it, Tom? They'll be here in a few minutes. Do you realize what we've done, Brandon? I know exactly what we've done. And done well, if I may say so. I hope so. Of course, using this rope was an absolute stroke of genius. Much neater that way. Stainless, no telltale mementos. (laughs) We're not through yet. Don't forget that. Suspense's lost episode, Rope.